Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, I wanted to show you what is in my freelance makeup artist kit. Now I want to say that I've only been doing this for, or, collect, or at least collecting um, makeup for like two months now. Um, so I'm, I'm not saying I'm an expert on it, I'm not saying I have everything that I need or want. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm starting out with, just in case there's any of you guys out there who want to start doing this or need advice, even though, like I said, I really don't know a lot yet. Um, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing now and how I'm doing it, um, just things like that. If you have any questions, just let me know. I can make another video about why I got started, how I'm trying to do it, how I'm budgeting, how I'm just all of it, just any of it. Um, I could definitely make a video on that. So yeah, just let me know and uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the outside. I got this, my parents got it for me on Groupon, I believe. Um, I can let you know, maybe I can find a dupe to it on Amazon. There was, these is a, this is the kind of look that I was going for with my kit. Um, it has a little bit, a little thing right here, pulls up um, so I can move it around. It's easy to use. Um, it's really nice, I really like it. Okay, so for the top, you just come up here, unlock each side. Well, let's put this down first. Open it up and pull both sides out. Yeah, I know this looks totally crazy, but I mean, it works for me. Um, I really like how I have it set up. Um, I hope, I mean, I hope to one day have it a lot more organized than it is now, but this is what we're going with for now. So over here on this side, I have all of my concealers and primers. Um, the two primers that I use the majority of the time are this is the Magic Lumi um, L'Oreal primer. I use this for people with dry skin. And then people with more oily skin, I use the Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And then this one is kind of for people right in the middle um, who say, um, I don't really know what I have, uh, or, or they're neither. I use that the majority of the time. I have all my LA Girl Pro Concealers. Um, you can get a really good deal on this on Amazon. You can get like six for $10 or something like that. I'm not sure. My Naked Skin, and then these are NARS, which I never really use these, so I might take them out. I definitely use my Maybelline Concealer in light. I need to get another one of those. And then this is almost out, actually. It looks this way. On the next tier down, I have all of my tools and my um, correct correcting concealer palette. Um, right here I have lip, let's see, yeah, some of these extra ones, um, and right under that are mascara spoolies. Um, but yeah, I have all tools right here, which is would be like scissors, tweezers, um, eyelash curlers, um, eyebrow, whatever it's called, lash glue, primer, you know, all that fun stuff. On this side, I have my mascaras, which you don't really need a lot of. You just need, I definitely have a waterproof one and then some backups just in case. Two liquid liners, my Maybelline Eye Studio liner, um, and then just single shadows. Um, I also have my dip brow pomade in here. Okay, on the next tier down, obviously, I have all of my lipsticks. I usually don't bring all of these because, I, I mean, I have these bright pink ones that I know that no one's really going to wear unless they're wanting a more dramatic look, which isn't very likely. The one that I've been using on everybody is, which, I mean, by their choice, um, is by Rimmel. It's in the number 08. Um, it is beautiful. Hold on. I'm, like, almost out of this. Yeah, it's just, like, a really pretty nude color. It looks good on just about everybody. Um, I swear it's, like, a magic lipstick, so I use that on a lot of people. In the center here, I have all of my face products. So in here, I'll open that in just a second. But right now, this is kind of a temporary thing that I'm using. Um, I want to get like a black one so I look a little more, more professional. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have two extra foundations down here, Too Faced and L'Oreal Tree Match, just in case. Um, my Baked Blushes by Milani, Highlighter, Laura Mercier, Translucent Setting Powder, Another setting powder, you know, just all, some more blushes in here. Just all this loose stuff. I also have my MAC Fix Plus in here. And here's where I keep all of my MAC Studio Fix um, 
foundations. Um, I can leave all the colors in the description box below if you're curious. Um, but yeah, this is just what I keep it in because they, every time I roll this thing around, everything in this bottom area gets jumbled up. Um, it's really a pain when I get to a job and I open this up, open this top part up and it's all a mess. I just look really bad. So I like to keep those in there so that they're all in place. So I'm just gonna take this top part off. Next I have all of my palettes that I use. So if I'm going to a trial run for a wedding or something, I'll bring, I'll bring these two. I don't necessarily use them that often. Um, so my Naked 2 palette and my Too Faced, I'll show you this. I like using this for the browns, really, honestly, in this dark brown right here, and maybe that color too. Um, but yeah, I just bring those mostly just in case, um, but I definitely use my Makeup Geek Z palette the most. Um, I mean, you've seen from my tutorials, I use these a lot, Sangria. Um, I started using this purpley. It looks, doesn't look purple in the viewfinder, but it is a Cherry Cola. Well, I guess it maybe it's more red, I don't know. Yeah, but I use that the most. Um, my, definitely my Morphe palette, for sure. Um, and then I just have this blush palette by Ulta underneath. Um, this is a lip palette. I don't use that very often. Um, a contour palette in deep. Yeah, the cream contour. Definitely my Anastasia Pro Brow palette. Well, let me open it. Whoa. That is what it looks like. Um, you have every color that you would ever need in here. It's so so helpful oh my gosh i freaking love it and then i use this in my videos um i just got this at tj maxx um contour palette it's really hard to do with one hand yeah this is what it looks like um obviously you can tell that i use this color these three colors a lot mostly those those two um but yeah that's really nice to have okay so i'm just gonna take this one off too okay this also looks a little messy Right now I'm working on organizing things, finding better ways to organize, but I mean, like I said, this is just what's working for me right now. It's not a huge deal because I take everything out anyway and lay it out on a table. Um, so as long as it stores well in my kit, then that's fine. Here's all my Ardell, all my fake lashes um, that I just keep in this little thing just because I didn't like that they were like loosely hanging out. Um, my mixing plate, I have Neutrogena makeup wipes. Q-tips, Garnier Mar Marcella water. Um, I always start with this in cotton pads. This is makeup cleaner or um, brush cleaner and alcohol, Germex. I have this lotion that I always use after after I use this. Um, I just I saw this on a video. I can try to find her channel. Um, she used this and. I don't know, I just thought that maybe I should give it a go and I really like it and all my clients, I haven't had any um, complaints about it so that's really nice. It's just a really nice um, daily moisturizer. And then I have my bottom um, tier, I guess. Um, it is a lot deeper than, you, than the rest of them, as you can tell. Um, I just keep all of my extra things in here, really. So I have a towel, so I just got back from a job yesterday, so that's why it's all dirty towel. Um, I keep my beauty blenders in here clean or dirty. I wash them all. When I'm packing for a job, I put all of my brushes in this little thing right here. I got this um, belt from Amazon. Um, it came with all these pink brushes that are in here, um, but it's, I mean, it's come in handy for all of my brushes that I use and I like to bring it on jobs. It's really, really handy. Um, and so every one that I use when it when it becomes dirty, I put it in this little pouch right here. I just it was our a free pouch from uh, Sephora, um, so this is full right now. And then I just keep some contracts at the bottom, and that is about it. So that is my freelance makeup artist kit. I know it's kind of a mess right now. I'm working. Well, I just got back from a job for one, and for two, I'm working on organizing. That is my next big step. Like I have all the things that I need to actually take clients. Um, I'm just working on how to make that easier because <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of a mess right now, but it's whatever. It works. I'm fine. I'm getting good reviews. So I think that's what matters. <laughs> as long as the customer is happy, I'm happy. So yeah, if you have any um, suggestions or comments, concerns, whatever about this video, if you have any ideas about what you want me to do for my next video, let me know, comment down below. Just, I'm open to anything. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you wanna see anything more about makeup artistry. 
um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.